I have uh, two black cylinders in my hands here, and I, one of them has this white line on it. And I will tell you that one of them is a magnet and the other one is not. And we're going to try and see if we can figure out a way of telling which is which. Um, over here I have two pipes. This one is acrylic and this one is aluminum. Um, neither of them is attracting this. Neither of them is attracting either of these, which actually makes sense because neither aluminum nor acrylic is magnetic. But now I'm going to drop these through the two pipes. So let's start with the acrylic one. And this, if you like, this will just sort of be a way of remembering how strong gravity is. So let's see how long it takes for me to drop this from here down to there. So here we go. Ready, set, go. Okay, that was one of them. Now I'll do the other one. Ready, set, go. So that is how strong gravity is. Um, it takes that length of time for one of these to drop like this. So now let's try the aluminum pipe. So here we go. Ready, set, go. Same. Let's try this one. Ready, set, go. Where is it? There it is. Much slower. Let's try it again. Go. You can see that something is making this object fall much, much more slowly to, through the pipe. To convince you, I'll set up a race here. So um, I'm going to drop one through the acrylic and one through the aluminum. I'm going to say, ready, set, go, and drop them both. Here we go. Ready, set, go. One fell out, and the other one is much later. First of all, this is the one that's the magnet. It's the one with the white line on it. Um, why is this falling so much more slowly? What's happening is that as this magnet is falling through the pipe, if I think about a little segment of pipe, say right here, as the magnet is approaching, that's changing the magnetic flux through this loop of pipe. And when you change the magnetic flux through a loop of aluminum, a loop of wire, or a loop of pipe, it sets up a current. It induces a current. That's Faraday's law. And things have to be set up. The fact that this goes slowly, what that's telling me is that the little loop of current set up in the pipe has to make a magnetic field that's pushing on the magnetic field of this little bar magnet, slowing its, slowing its fall down. So here we go. I'll do it again. And this is um, this aspect of Faraday's law, um, the fact that the current that I induce exerts a force which slows the magnet down. This, is, this actually gets a special name. It's called Lenz's law. Um, Lenz's law, as we will see, has to do with a, the, the, a minus sign in Faraday's law. Um, but um, there you go. It's kind of amazing, actually. And um, just for fun, I'm going to do it even more dramatically with this magnet. This is a stronger magnet. Um, and this pipe, this is a longer pipe. OK, well, first of all, let me just remind you how strong gravity is again. If I have no pipe, see what happens. Ready, set, go. So that's the ordinary acceleration due to gravity. Now we can do it with the pipe. This time, ready, set, go. Much, much, much slower. Where is the magnet? Where is the magnet? Where is the magnet? There it is. One last time. This time I'm going to lift it up when I, when I put it in. Ready, set, go. And I'll catch it when it comes out. There it is. Ta-da! Lenses law in action.